Hi, I'm Tony, and I'm going to show you how easy it is to use my Smashwords ebook publishing template. Okay, so let's get started. Let me close this screen. So when you download the Microsoft Word template and you open it, depending on what view you're in, it will look a little different. So I'm going to show you what view I like to use. I go up here to View. Sorry, let me click back to Word. I go to View and I put it in Web Layout. Why do I put it in Web Layout? Because an ebook, which is what we're going to be producing with this template, is basically HTML. Let's not go into all of that detail. But you want to see just the basic layout like you would see it on an e-reader. So what you get with the web view is something that gives you something similar to an e-reader. Watch this. What happens when I... Sorry, the text disappeared a little bit, but you'll see that it resizes itself, just like an e... so that on an e-reader it will have the same size. You saw my cute little spider there? My son put that on my desktop for me. Okay, so that's the first thing you want to do, is to change your view. Then you want to go in and you want to look at the book title. And of course, here's where you're going to replace the text. You're going to put your author name. Here's the publisher name here. Smashwords edition is required in all Smashword uh, uploads, so you need to put that. Here, the copyright, you want to change the year, change your author name. If it's a first edition, you can leave that. I've already put some copyright information in here for you. Let me move this down a little bit. Um, you can put your publisher's uh, name, address, and you can include a link here to your publisher's uh, link or your author page if you want. And here's where you'll want to include your ISBN. Then I've included some content for you that tells you that this is a work of fiction. Uh, you can include some other content there if you want. The next page that your readers will see is the contents page. And here you see I've listed 10 chapters, a dedication page, acknowledgments, an epilogue even, and an about the author page. In just a minute, I want to show you some other things. Here's the dedication page. You just insert your text here. Here's the acknowledgments page. Once again, you just insert your text, delete mine, insert your own. When you come to the chapter, either leave chapter one and delete this, or you can delete chapter one and insert your chapter title here. Here's a piece you can use, or you can just delete it. It's a little quote style that I've created for you. So let's stop for just a minute and talk about styles. You want to open up your styles panel. Now I'm on a Mac and my styles are right here. If you're on a Windows, it will be somewhere else. But you want to open up your styles panel and this is going to show you, I'm going to change this right here to styles in use. So this will show you only the styles that I've used in this. Now really, you don't have to use these styles in order to use this template. I just want to show you what I've done for you. This is a style here, this quote. So I've already created this style for you, and it's called Quote Centered. And if I scroll here, we'll find it and see that it's highlighted. There it is, Quote Centered. So I've already created that style for you. So if you want, you can copy and paste this somewhere else in your document. You can delete it, or you can type out some text and then hit that Quote Centered style, and it will automatically style your text for you. But basically, if you want to just keep this simple, enter your chapter title, delete this, and then start entering your text right here. But one thing I strongly suggest you do before you do that is to go up to File, Save As, and give this file a new name, which would be the name of your book, so that you can save this Smashword template and you can use it over and over again. Each time, you just go in and enter your text. Okay, sorry, my computer's spinning a little bit. While it's doing that, I want to... Oh, it's not going to let me scroll down. Okay, that's where you would, you would save it. Okay, let's cancel that. So you would just replace all of this text. But what is this text right here? 
Well, like I said, if you keep your template and you read this text, it'll just give you some tips on some things that you can do to use this template a little more. Um, if you're a little tech savvy and you want to change some things in the template, this will give you some instructions. But if you don't want to, you just replace all of this text. Let's scroll down. Here's chapter two, as you can see, you can replace your text, chapter three. And if we keep scrolling down, we'll see 10 chapters here, an epilogue, again, you just replace your text, and then about the author. Okay, let's talk about links real quick. Here's how we create a link. Author page is where I've created a link. You just highlight the text that you want to create on a Mac, I go into Insert. It's going to be a little bit different on Windows, but you know how to use Windows. And I click Hyperlink. And when I open that, I can just insert the link and it will to the page that I want to link to, and it will create that. Now let's go back to the table of contents, because if you want more than 10 chapters, you will need to know how to do this. This is the one thing that I need to show you how to do. What you do to create your table of contents, or to add some, is you click on the chapter and you do insert bookmark. And the instructions are written down in this file. I just wanted to show you real quick. Insert bookmark. And when you click that, you're going to give chapter one a bookmark name. I would call it chapter one. I've actually already done chapters one through 10 and the other pages for you. All of these are done. So once you give that a bookmark, you highlight, for example, chapter one, and then you insert a hyperlink. And when you get to that hyperlink page, instead of inserting a URL, you just type in chapter one and you find the bookmark. Voila, you have a table of contents. So that's how you're going to just add additional chapters. But don't worry, I've written these instructions down for you here. So once you fill in your text and you create your table of contents for your extra chapters, all you have to do is save this and upload it to Smashwords. I've used this template time and time again to upload to Smashwords, and sometimes while I do upload directly to iBooks, sometimes I go through Smashwords just because it's quick and easy, and I've used it to get into the iBook store as well. So have fun with your new template, and I wish you lots of happy days of writing and publishing.